Molweni, Sanibona, Dumelang, Good Morning, More. My name is Wus Sofowan. I'm here to present to you why the Eastern Cape province is a special place to study the earth science system. The Eastern Cape province has an area of around 168,966 square kilometers. It has a population of around 6.6 .6 million people. The largest group known as Amakosa. And this group is also subdivided into Amambondo, Amashubi, and others, followed by Abesutu, the Kalads, the Bulls, and the White English people. This province, indeed, is a diverse province. This province is situated along the coastal area of the Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is influenced by the warm Agalas current. As a result, this ocean, it contains a diverse organisms which are thriving from this ocean which has less nutrients compared to the cold ocean of the Atlantic. One of the characteristics that has made this organism to thrive are the bright colors which makes them distinct to one of the most organisms that are situated along the Atlantic. This province has a diverse climatic conditions. It depends where are you situated in the province. The Eastern Cape province on the far east of the Eastern Cape. It is influenced by the subtropical rainfall. And in the far west of the Eastern Cape, it is influenced by the Mediterranean rainfall. In the far interior, it is influenced by the Great Escapement. And the Eastern Cape province is generally receiving its rainfall during summer. As a result, even though some parts, more especially the coastal area, receive the rainfall, uh, the rainfall which is influenced by the uh, coastal climatic condition, the interior part it experiences dry season during winter. The Eastern Cape has the most recent geology, which is one of the reasons that there is no so much big mining that is taking place that is economically economic important that has an economic importance but even though there are some mining taking place such as quarrying the eastern cape province the eastern cape province has is 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 characterized by mostly sedimentary rocks the eastern cape it is one of the provinces that have 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 uh, is one of the provinces that are having the marine protected areas protected by the environmental affairs the eastern cape province indeed it is a best province to study the earth systems as it contains one of the largest indigenous forests in the Tsitsigama, which contains one of the well-known trees such as the yellow wood trees. And it has got one of the nature conservation areas in the interior in the Hawksback. The Eastern Cape province is also one of the greatest province which has produced most influential people in South Africa, in the African continent, all, all, and also in the world. To name the few, Udada, Udada, Unelsil Holishata Mandela, Udadom Kulu, Uo Artambo, Udadom Kulu, U Steve Bandubiko, and many other iconic women. The Eastern Cape.
is the home of legend. Ipondo Lengwe Lava.